On my property in Vermont, I found many different kinds of ferns this spring. I'm gonna show you in this video some of the ferns I found and what they look like in the ground when you are looking for them. Here are all the different types of ferns I have found here in my woods. I believe, don't quote me, but I believe this is a bracken fern, wood fern, lady fern, Christmas fern, cinnamon fern, and ostrich fern. All of these are the fiddleheads. This one is the only one that's edible. But aren't they beautiful? Here's an example of the cinnamon fern fiddleheads coming up with their furry stalk. Here's a great example of the sensitive fern because you can see the fern fronds that fell over from the first frost. And here's, here's an example of the lady fern. The lady fern looks unique with their stalks kind of having these brown specks, oh, like little hairs all over them. So that's what they look like when they're coming up. And this here is the Christmas tree fern fiddleheads coming up. And that's what they look like. They look very similar to the cinnamon ferns, but if you look closely, their stalks are a little, their furs, their quote fur is a little different. And often you'll see the old um, fronds from the fern from the first frost uh, of the season before. So that is what the, um, the Christmas tree or the Christmas ferns look like. Here's an example of the bracken fern fiddleheads with their red stalk. They're very different. But again, in my woods, if you look around, we have cinnamon ferns right there, bracken ferns over here, Christmas ferns here. The ones that we could not find a lot of were the ostrich ferns, but I did find them in a different place. So stay tuned. And more of the lady fern fiddleheads coming up right there. They're all around here. When discovering and making sure, confirming you have an ostrich fern, you see this deep, deep U groove that goes all the way up and down the stalk. Um, that is one way to find it. This fertile frond is another. Um, the brown papery parts that are that are on the fiddleheads when they're really really low and now there's they're coming off this smooth smooth stalk it's not furry or pokey at all these are this is a true ostrich fiddlehead fern let me know in the comments below if you have any of these ferns that I've identified in my woods here in Vermont um, where you live. I'd love to know where you are foraging um, and, and we can kind of learn some new ferns together. But this has been a beautiful spring and a lot of, a lot of learning, which I love. So I'm so happy to be learning. I'm so happy you're here. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, kind of, let's kind of learn from each other.